Okay guys, I'm just going to run through the editor in Armed Assault. Armed Assault is the su successor to uh, Operation Flashpoint, the original published by Coldmasters. Uh, as you can see there, the Bohemian Interactive are the makers of the game. It's I'll take you through the editor. The editor part of it is uh, just so you can make your own levels to put online or play yourself or just play with, with any of the weaponry or the vehicles in the game that you want to play with. Well, uh, uh, there's two islands available from default. The first one is a quite a huge island, one of the lot of the missions in built into the game itself. Huh? This is a smaller island, it's quite basic. It's got a couple of islands, baby islands, and it's got a runway and a small town. Uh, I'll just give you a quick default. You can set up a little mission for yourself, and this this editor allows you to create pretty advanced missions. You, know, you could have storylines that you're involved in, and uh, or even just create little movies. It's very similar to Operation Flashpoint 1. I've not used this myself in Armed Assault, but I'm just going to try and create a mission up. Uh, it's the same. You can pick single units, groups, triggers, waypoints, synchronize things, you know, markers. Basically, if you're walking along and you enter an area, some uh, a trigger would kick off an event. Uh, by default, all the, the the guys, depending on which side you're on, they will, they will detect people in their area and things like this. You, know, you can set different levels of skill for the AI for each person. It's it's quite flexible, whatever you want to do. Let's say I'm going to uh, set up a guy on here, which I'll be the player, and this guy's going to be on the blue side, or the blue four, as they call it. And uh, he's going to be... a uh, uh, an AT guy, that means he's, he's basically you use a ground to ground weaponry. I'll set him as a captain and I'll put that as a player. Set him facing towards the town, say. So, okay, so that'll stick your guy on. Make sure he's down as a player, not playable. Okay, and I'm going to give him a, a vehicle. So, we'll create, go on to units again. In blue, you on blue, and put air, and I'll choose the A6. Sorry, H1Z helicopter. And with this, I'll put it as a. Uh, sorry, I'll go on empty for this. Leave it on the same. Uh, leave it unlocked so I can get in there and play with that. And I'll make that face towards the same array as the runway. Actually, I don't want to use a helicopter, I want to use a H6. There we go. Now I'll say I'll be easy, uh, we'll just stick some guys in there to, for them to go on attack. We'll first put some on this island. We'll put a group of guys in. So again we'll want to put the arms, we'll put OP4. These guys are going to want to kill me. Put them facing towards me and we'll put them as a weaponry squad. And to help them out we'll put a... Same again, OP4 armor. Uh, Actually, we don't want to put a group this time, we're making a mistake. We'll just put a unit, we don't want to have too much enemy. Up four, and we'll put it in. There we will have uh, armored, and we'll put a BMD, a BMP2. And we'll put that face in this one. Okay, so we've got a little attack, enemy attack force on this island. And just to make sure I can't just get my helicopter and go and attack those guys, we'll put a bit of ground to air in here. So we'll put unit again, up for, and then armored, and then we'll pick it and we'll have a shulker. And put it facing this way. And then just as a finishing mission, we'll, uh, we'll stick some guys over in this town so we've got to come and relieve them. And we'll say, uh, we'll put a group in. We'll put an infantry squad again. And with these guys, we'll put a waypoint, so we'll tell them to go somewhere, so they'll, they'll walk around. Put up, make sure we're clicked on those guys. And we'll tell them to move, normal speed, uh, come up mode, open fire, gain your oil. Okay. And we can just continue that, just keep clicking where we want them to go. Okay. And we'll click on their last position, and we can actually put. Uh, Cycle. I think that means they'll continue. I'm not professional on this, but I think it means they'll just continue, keep walking around and around. Then. 
Okay, and that's pretty much a, a little mini mission I've set up for myself there quite quickly. Now I can jump inside that, I've already preview. I'll save it first. Uh, it just comes up in some directory and I'll just put a uh, first mission. Okay. And I'll preview that. So you can just jump right into it pretty quick. Uh, I've got my track IR on here, so if you're wondering why I can look around so well, it's because I've, I'm in my track IR mode. Uh, I can jump outside of there and have a look. So I've got my AT on the back, and I can take something out. Now I could just jump into my helicopter, but if I do that, the shilker will take me out, so I'm going to run. I'll stop here and get crouch. I'll change to my anti armor and uh, let's have a look. See if I can get this guy. There we go. Reload that. Track arrow works really well here because as I'm doing stuff which kind of locks my player up, I can look around, make sure no one's coming up on me. So as soon as I'm ready to do something, I can just run away or turn and fire. I'll jump in my little chopper. So I'm sure those guys have heard something or they're pretty active now, so. Just keep an eye on over there. Come on. Cycle through my weapon. I've got some uh, like a chain gun on this thing, and plus a lot of rockets. I love flying the helicopters in this game. It's a lot of fun. Now let's see what I can do against these guys. The obvious advantage here is that you've got is you uh, created the mission so you can know exactly where all the enemies are. <laughs> Ouch. I've got a few bullets in the rear of the helicopter then. Just cycle back around here. Get rid of the rest of these rockets. Not sure if there's any guys left there, we can hover around and have a look. Yep, I think I've killed them all. See if I'm going to be able to get in here without them taking me out. At close range like this, the guys will really shoot the hell out of this helicopter pretty quickly. The advantage here of, uh, obviously you've made the mission yourself, so you know where all the guys are going to be roughly. Yep, you can see the guy there then, that was only because I was looking left. You just jump out and you could say, oh I didn't want a, an AH-6, I wanted to uh, go back to units. Didn't want an AH-6, I wanted an AH-1Z. Preview, what you wish for is what you get. 